Hey guys, how's it going? It is the Jerry Bear. Welcome to this edition of the Daily Rant. Today's date is Saturday, September 18th, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, there's going to be a few things I talk about in tomorrow's edition of the Sunday Video Update. I don't want to give away too much here. Um, but there have been some things happening in the family. And uh, we had a death in the family that's basically what's been going on really not anything major to talk about other than that but i'm going to talk about that in tomorrow's sunday video update so you know do the classy thing make sure you tune in tomorrow for the sunday video update today however uh because i've got the house to myself and i wanted to talk a little bit about something that i find to be just really really fucking peculiar and i i wanted to kind of shed some light onto that if I may um so I guess I'll get started I'm not going to waste any time so I you know as most people know generally speaking I have friends who are uh, you know personal friends who are in the acting world they are actors actresses uh they go to auditions and I'm not making this up I have personal friends who are in fact actors and actresses I never thought in a million years I'd be able to say, gee, I got friends who are, you know, in the, you know, they're on the big screen. Like, that doesn't happen for a guy like me, but evidently it does because I do. And I had noticed how, um, like on a lot of the Twitter accounts you see where the parents who are, obviously they're controlling their child's account, which is fine, which I have nothing, you know, I have nothing against that at all. But on a lot of the descriptions of the Twitter accounts, I've noticed that it says, um, you know, if you're not a member of the industry, then you should, you know, I'm going to block you if you're, not a, if you're not an actor or someone who's involved in the industry, which I think is a load of fucking bullshit. And that's what I want to talk about in today's Daily Rant. You know, it, it's, it's really stupid because first of all, and I'm sure many of my friends who are in that business, they're listening to this. I don't know how many exactly or if anybody from the acting world is listening to this, any of my personal friends for that matter. But I know someone out there who is connected or someone who is involved, you know, actively involved in the acting world. It's really stupid to say that if you're not involved in the acting world, then I'm going to block you just because, on, you know, just on, just on the basis alone that you're not involved in the acting world. Well, let me tell you something. You don't have to be involved in the acting world to actually show support to the, you know, to the actor, to the talent. And I, I find it to be so ridiculously fucking stupid that people act this way. Well, you're not a member of, of the uh, acting world. You're not a script supervisor. You're not a manager. You're not a talent scout. You're not a... Well, I am a talent scout because I'm showing support to the talent. That makes me a talent scout, I guess, in so many words. I call myself a talent supporter, but it's just really fucking stupid. Like, okay, so I'm not an actor. I think everybody knows that. I don't make it a secret, like... I come on my Sunday video updates. I come here on YouTube every fucking Sunday. I am not shy about talking about specific things. Um, I'm not an actor. I thought I made that abundantly clear. Like in one of my other, uh, you know, Sunday video updates or in a daily recording, whatever the case may be. And even my personal friends who are actors know that I am not a fucking actor. They know that. But they don't discriminate against me because I'm not a fucking actor. They consider me a personal friend of theirs. And they're a personal friend of mine. So all these other people who go out there, they got to, I don't know, they got to stump up their ass about something. Maybe it's because of all the actual creeps and predators on Twitter. I'm guessing that's what it is. But to simply categorize anybody who's not actively involved in the, in, in the world of acting to categorize them involuntarily as potential predators or whatever the case may be, you're a fucking idiot. And I'm calling you out on that. You know who you are. It's stupid. 
you're going to meet people, you know, and, and this is, this is actually the thing that really gets my goat about the whole thing with these people who are in the business and they, they think they're above and beyond and better than everybody else. First of all, fuck off for those of you who feel that way. But here's the thing. This is the main point. When you enter into that particular business or that particular career, when you become an actor, what's the one thing that actors are looking for? And I know many of my friends who are actors, my personal friends, may be able to have the, the answer to this question. The answer is public exposure. When you get involved into acting, you want people to see you. You're playing a role. You're playing a part. You go to the auditions. You have to perform in front of people who, you know, it's like you're, you're a potential opportunity uh, to be a part of this, this filming project that, you're work, that they're working on. And you have to audition. You have to act out the parts in front of people who are going to fucking assess you and your character and your ability to perform that character. And, you know, they're going to take notes. And from there, they make a determination on your performance as to whether or not you are the best fit for the role. And then when you are the best fit for the role, you have to perform where the whole fucking world is going to see it, especially if you're a movie actor, not a play actor, but like a movie actor. Um, you know, you are going to be exposed to the fucking public and not everybody in the world can be a fucking actor. That's what I'm saying. You get the public exposure. You're going to have fans. You're going to have people who want to show you support. And if you're one of these overly paranoid parents, whom of which, by the way, could potentially end up tanking their child's fucking career before it even takes off because they want to be insecure and act like bitches, you are not doing your child any favors. I understand, yes, as a parent, you have to do your job by protecting them from the creeps. Well, guess what? There's also creeps within the fucking business, and we know this. You ever hear of Harvey Weinstein? He's the biggest fucking creep there is. Bill Cosby, um, the list goes on and on and on and on. There's all kinds of creeps who actually work within the industry. You're more worried about a fan, someone who's not directly connected to the business. It's just, it's, it's, it's futile. It's an exercise in futility to say, if you're not a member of the industry, I'm just going to block you on principle. Fuck off. Like, seriously, just go fuck yourself. I show support to talents of all ages, even here on YouTube sometimes. Um, but of course you never see the content. You never see the videos because of the fact that the videos are unlisted on my channel. So you're not going to see them. It's going to be specifically for the person that I'm trying to lift up and encourage and support. It's just, it, it, it just seems like such a waste. I have no ill will or nefarious intentions. I think everybody knows that by now. I don't have to keep going over this over and over and over and over again to try to prove a point. But what I'm saying is, is that it's really fucking preposterous to have in the description of your child's, uh, you know, Twitter account to say, well, you can't follow us if you're not in the business. Well, that's not how that works. You're going to have tons of people who are not actors, actresses. They have no direct ties to the business whatsoever, but they are willing to support your children who are actors and actresses. They're even willing to support you as their parent. It's just really stupid. That's like if you had a talk show which, you know, you're going to, it's going to be seen on national television and saying that the studio audience must consist only of fellow actors. Because if you're just a regular person like myself and I want to attend a taping of the show, well, my ticket's going to be null and void because I'm not an actor. I mean, what the fuck? What, what is that about? 
because I'm not an actor, therefore my money or my support is not sufficient enough for you, that's really fucking stupid. It's just, it's, there's no thought. It's a, it's a half-assed thought to say, well, if you're not an actor or actress or any way affiliated or tied in with the business, well, you can't support, you can't follow me and I'm going to block you. Well, fine, I don't want to fucking support you then. Fuck off. I'll block you back if it makes you feel better. Um, and if you can't, if you can't accept the fact that there are people like me out there who support young talents or older talents, it makes not one bit of difference. But if you can't accept the fact that there are people out there like myself who aren't, I'm not an actor, but I support people in their endeavors to make their dreams come true. I'm not taking any, any credit for their success. I'm just someone who shows support. And if you can't accept it for what it is, then maybe you're in the wrong fucking business because you're going to get people like myself who have no ill will or evil intentions. And we only want to do what's best for somebody else. We want to see someone flourish and succeed and make their dreams come true. That I, I'm not responsible for the successes of any actors or actresses out there. Yes, I have a, a I have a, a, an extensive autograph collection, a broad autograph collection, children and adults. Um, and I'm expecting more, actually, by the way. The first in, I don't know, a couple of years at least. But in no way, shape, or form do I take credit for the successes. Even of my personal friends who are actors and actresses, I in no way, shape, or form take credit for their success. They are the ones who showed up at the auditions. They are the one who played the part. They acted out the scenes. They acted out the character. They did what they needed to do to accomplish uh, that success and to find that achievement. I'm not taking credit for that. And all these people, again, especially on Twitter, which I, I just, it's so fucking stupid and half-assed. Well, if you're not a member of the, the filming industry, you're going to be blocked on principle. Well, fine. Fuck off. Block me. I don't care. You know? Um, we'll find out when your child's career bombs, when it tanks, it's going to be because of you. Because you're being stupid about it. And you're not... You know, you're not giving people a chance to show you that they are not who either someone told you that we were or we're not who you think we are. I mean, it's really that simple. It's really that simple. I, I just, I don't understand the, the thought behind that, the thought process. I mean, it, it's so illogical to say, if you're not a member of, of the of the filming business, if you're not an actor, if you're not an actress, if you're not a supervisor or a manager or a director or an agent, you're going to be blocked on principle because we just don't trust you being a fan. You have evil intentions. Anybody who's not an actor has an evil intention. Oh, my God. Get fucking real. Seriously. Get fucking real. Get with the program. Oh, good grief. Anyway, that was basically that was basically my daily rant for today. Very short and sweet, but uh, you know, I, I just wonder where these where, where these people are in their minds. If they're not actors and actresses, then you can't follow us. Which kind of tells me because it can't be that simple. It's not that simplistic. It's got to be something else, period. It's got to be something else. Now, there's an actor. Um, he's Canadian. His name is Julian Hicks, and he's a young kid, and we used to talk, and then he befriended child molesters, pedophiles on Twitter, and I tried to warn him about these pedophiles. In fact, and instead, he turned against me. He didn't listen to me. He didn't heed my warning. And whether or not he's still friends with pedophiles, I, I have no idea. But if I had to guess, I'd say he is. And he's friends with a guy that I used to talk to. His name is Greg Murray, also Canadian. And I'm not going to say that Greg's a pedophile, but I will say that there are a couple of there's an actor and an actress, their brother and sister, and they live in his city, okay? 
And he literally came to me in an email and he fucking whined like a little baby because, well, they're attending college in my city and I'm just sad that they won't make it a point to come and visit with me and hang out. Dude, get some fucking friends. Like, really? Like, what the fuck? So they won't make time for you. What makes you think you're so special that they owe you the fucking time? Like, get get the fuck out of here. What's up with that shit? But he literally whined to me in an email. Well, you would almost think that, that he would make time for me because, you know, we're buddies and I'm so lonely. Yeah, Greg Murray is tied in with uh, child porn accounts on Twitter. Right along with Julian Hicks. And Julian Hicks, being a Canadian actor, whatever the case may be, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I really don't care. His mom doesn't seem to care. His mom doesn't really, I guess, monitor his Twitter very much. But this was this was years ago. But even still, um, there's all kinds of fucking actual creeps on Twitter. Actual creeps. I mean, they're everywhere. And... I don't know. It's just, I mean, to, to write people off like a blanket statement about people who aren't actors just to say that, well, if you're not in the industry, if you're not in the business, we're going to block you on principle. You're fucking stupid. I don't care if you're from the U.S., the U.K. I really don't care where the fuck you're from. It's a stupid way of looking at things. It's It's lazy. And your logic is entirely and completely fucking flawed, to say the least. That'd be like saying, uh, you know, as a childhood cancer advocate, when I was an advocate, that would be like ousting anybody who's not an, uh, a childhood cancer survivor or a parent who, you know, isn't involved, directly involved with childhood cancer, which is not true because I have friends who aren't directly tied in with childhood cancer and they raise awareness anyways. And they're not in it for themselves. So it only proves my point. But anyway, I wanted to get on here and kind of rant a little bit about these these fucking idiots who just don't think before they say things. They don't think before they write things out. They don't collect their own thoughts. They don't stop and think long enough about, now, does this really make sense? Do I really want to put this out there before I put it out there? Because... You know, I, I just put it out there without actually evaluating what the fuck it is I'm saying or the message that I'm trying to impart. Do I really want to put that out there? Let me think about this. They don't think. They speak, and that's it. And then they put it out there. They make themselves look fucking foolish. That's that's the internet for you. I don't know. I I can't I can't understand where people's heads are. I just don't get it. Um. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I guess that's going to wrap it up. It's going to be a quick daily rant today. I've got the house to myself. It feels great. It feels awesome. I love having alone time where I don't have to listen to everybody else bickering and bitching about stupid, petty little things. I don't think this is really petty, um, but it doesn't really make a lot of fucking sense. You can't, you can't treat people who aren't like you as a potential threat because you may be a, a potential threat to all those other people that you're shaming. So not real fucking smart, but anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this uh, daily rant. My name is Jared Fuller, AKA the Jared bear. I will be here tomorrow for the Sunday video update, three o'clock Eastern time. Be sure to join in and uh, indulge me for an hour. Because I'll be here from about 3 until 4 Eastern Time. So, as always, toodaloo!